Hi everyone, I'm Joyce and welcome to another edition of Sam's Museum from Home, Curator's Pick. Today, we're going to revisit a work from the 2016 edition of the Singapore Biennale, An Atlas of Mirrors. If you haven't heard, Sam has partnered with Google to digitize a number of our exhibitions. So while you're at home, and I'm at home too, it's a wonderful opportunity to revisit some of these works virtually. So come along with me as we step back in space and time. Gregory is an artist who has been working on natural materials, such as shells, and he creates his paintings as miniatures, very small pieces with exquisite detail. Gregory is an artist from the Philippines, an archipelago known for having some 7,107 islands. For this work, which was commissioned by SP 2016, he was inspired to travel to as many coastal areas around the country as he could, to portray the lives of individuals who make their livings from the sea. As he travelled around, he met fishermen, fishmongers, a boat builder, a biologist, a shell trader and others. Gregory took notes of the people he met, their names and ages, where they lived, where they came from, what they did, their stories. Almost all of the people he met led very difficult lives, often struggling to make ends meet and dealing with the uncertainties of their livelihoods and climate change, and with diminishing yields from the sea every year. I was very humbled and moved when Gregory shared some of these stories with me. There's a story of Ronald, a crab catcher from Pagasina, who would make an average of 150 Philippine pesos a day. That's about Singapore $4. There are stories of couples, husbands and wives, and families as well. There's one of Myrna, a fish vendor, and her husband William, who had become a master boat builder and whom Gregory had actually met earlier in the day. Gregory would then go on to create these unusual portraits of these people by painting their eyes on the material of Mother of Pearl. And these delicate paintings capture the tiny characteristics of her subjects, the droop of her brow, crow's feet, wrinkles, and other unique imperfections of people who have weathered life. I was very fortunate to be able to visit Gregory in the studio in Cavite as he was working on the piece. You can get an idea how small these pieces are from the magnifying glass he uses in his painting process. This book for me is truly moving. Although these individuals labour to harvest the bounty of the ocean, rarely do they get to reap its well. Working under such harsh weather conditions has also taken a toll on the health of many, evident in the premature aging in their eyes. But here Gregory has created beautiful portraits of them all, capturing their likeness on precious, luminous material and paying a kind of homage to them. I was also very struck when I went back and I looked at these photographs. Even though many of them endure such hard lives, they have a light in their eyes, a smile, a kindness even. At a time like this when many of us are indoors and relooking the world, our world, differently. I'm reminded about the resilience of others and the joy that they still manage to find in their lives. This is a beautiful work by an incredible artist and it helps me to look at things a little bit differently. I'm delighted to be able to share Karagatan, the breath of oceans, with you. And that wraps it up, my artwork highlight. If you enjoy this and other videos on Art that Inspires, please remember to like, follow and subscribe to us at Sam.